15. And do this, understanding the present time. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber, because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on that armor of light. Let us behave decently as in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sin, not in dissension and jealousy. Rather, let us clothe our, yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the flesh. Amen. 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 Blessings to that and to each of us as we carry that through. Amen. Well, it's good to see your bright and shiny faces today. Amen. Amen. And, um, I feel like, you know, some of you might have too much turkey because you're like, oh. <laughs> Wake up. Maybe it's not the turkey, maybe it's the pumpkin pie, right? Yeah. <laughs> the third pumpkin pie. <laughs> so, Advent. Advent is the perfect time to clear out and to prepare the way in your life as you rediscover Christmas. Advent, in some ways, I think is like this winter training camp, <laughs> you know? Turkey Day's over, so we need to get into some kind of training camp for our spiritual lives. It's a training camp for those who want to discover something more. And I don't know about you, but I always want to discover something more. The season of Advent means this time of preparation for the arrival of, of course, the notable person that we know is our blessed Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, most of you know what it means to be in preparation for something, right? Mm -hmm. And recently, we all, everybody knows that Leslie was preparing for the arrival of her first grandbaby. Ooh. That's her, her son and the grandbaby. And then there's the baby, Zoe. Baby Zoe. Chloe. 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 Yeah. Cute, cute, cute. So, when you prepare for the birth of a baby, or I hate to compare a meal, preparing a meal, but there's some similarities. Or you prepare for a meal, or really anything else that you have to get done, the more you do ahead of time, the better, right? The more you do ahead of time, the better. Part of this Advent season is the preparation of our spiritual readiness for the birth of Christ. Our faith tradition reminds us that this is the incarnation of Christ in flesh and blood. How do you prepare for that? Wow. That's a big thing. That's a big thing. The birth of Christ. How are we going to prepare for that? I don't think that there's any really pat answer to that question because we all may prepare um, in different ways for the spiritual discoveries that we will hopefully continue to make. At least I hope that you're still making spiritual discoveries. Amen? If we don't make these discoveries, then the fire in our spirit dies out. For me, it doesn't matter how many Advent seasons or Christmas mornings I've had so far in my life, there is something sacred about this season. There is something sacred about the mystery and the wonder of the birth of Christ. It's exciting. It's exciting. Yeah. I said it's exciting. Yeah. 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 Really, I need to get you all some coffee. <laughs> I would like to encourage you to spend some time this Advent season reflecting on how the birth of Christ has changed you. 
If you need to, I invite you to go and read the story of Christ and let that power of the story sink in. Go to Luke and, and read that gospel. Reflect on the empowerment that it gives you in your own life. When you reflect on Christ, I hope that that reflection empowers you. Amen. Amen. I hope that it gives you encouragement. I hope that it gives you strength for the journey. Don't get distracted. Pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit to show you, to direct your path, and then not only pray for that, but then follow <laughs> that way. <laughs> Sometimes we have this conversation within ourselves about, is that you, God, or is that me? Right? And so when you're following the leading of the Holy Spirit, you know when you take a step, if it's the right step or not. And guess what happens? If it's the wrong step, guess what you get to do? <laughs> step back and take another step. Now, I don't know about you, but I've had to do this dance all the time. Because it is a dance with God. Amen? And I want to encourage you to follow that direction. Don't get distracted by people or places or things. This is one sure way you can prepare for the spiritual tests that come. If you stay connected by rediscovering Christ. Rediscover the birth of Christ. As you do that, you will make it. You will make it. You will overcome the obstacles, but it takes your decision. It takes your prayers. It takes your tears and your joys. It takes your meditation, not medication. It might take that too. I just think that you guys are paying attention. It takes your intention and it takes your heart. Rediscovery requires your willingness to do the work of making it happen. In your spiritual life, that someone is you. That someone is you. You get to discover and rediscover that empowerment of the birth of Christ in your life. I don't know about you, but man, that's exciting for me. It's exciting. It can be exciting. And if you're like a whole humbug, bah humbug, I just encourage you to read the story of the birth of Christ. And let that empower you. Let that encourage you. Let that show you how you can rediscover Christmas in a new and meaningful way. When you allow your heart to be open and not filled with judgment, your heart becomes this place of blessing and peace and the desire to abide where the birth of the Prince of Peace abides, where that might take place in your life. I want to quote Reverend Elaine Durbin, and she writes this quote, which I think really fits. She writes this. This is the work of preparing for God's arrival, removing the tarnished once rose-colored glasses to see the tiny but mighty hope of the world being born. Over and over again into worn, torn places. This is the work of Advent, to rejoice that we can say to one another, let us go into the house of the Lord and be revived again. To hold for the truth that God's not done yet making this peaceful vision a reality. God's not done just yet with us. Each and every day we have the opportunity to do something to prepare for this Advent season. Every day, whether you go to work or whether you're out shopping or whether you're meeting friends for lunch, you have an opportunity to share the amazing gift that God has given. Maybe you have feelings of discrimination toward other people 
maybe there's this lingering resentment and unforgiveness or an injury lingering in your heart. Maybe sometimes we look down on other people who have lesser social standing or educational achievements. Are we generous with the gifts that we have been given that each one of us has? Seeing ourselves as stewards and not owners, we're the stewards of God, amen? Are we reverent of others and their ideas and needs and of creation? These and other questions become the advent light by which we may search the deep, dark corners of our own heart and our own lives. And that's what God is calling us to do as we rediscover what it means to be people of faith. I truly believe the rediscovering is something God is seeking from us as we become more in tune with God. As we shed those things that hinder us and we leave them behind and we come to this place so that we can reimagine our lives, rediscover something powerful, to have a vision of something more and have a plan and put that plan of our lives into action. I don't know about you, but I do not want to become bitter. Ugh. I don't want to become bitter. It is hard as we get older to change. Hmm. And to see things of our use. Now, I'm talking about it because I'm getting older, right? <laughs> if this isn't something I don't know anything about. I know about getting older. And I don't see the things, probably in a good way, maybe kind, I don't see the things the same way that I did in my youth, right? But rediscovering doesn't have to be difficult if we would just rid ourselves of the idea that we can't change. You know, we watched the dog show, and there's this, they did say, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Right. It is possible. And so I say to us, we can change. Children often have this sense of wonder and amazement. It, if we could just learn to be more, a little bit like them, with our eyes opened to these new discoveries of God, then I think that we would understand in new and exciting ways. Amen? Hang out with the kids for a minute. Woo! But you better have your, your power pack on. Amen? <laughs> just hang out with them and see what happens. Our thirsty souls would be quenched for the first time. We would also know that we have not seen that all that God has in store for us just yet. Because there's still many awes and wonders to behold. Sometimes people, we forget to dream. We forget to dream. And we step away from the banquet of life. We check out we grow weary, and we lose the natural gift of this awe and wonder. What happened? What happened? Something went terribly wrong when we check out. But you know what today, saints? Today is a new day. Today is the new calendar year of the church. So happy new year, church. <laughs> It's the first Sunday of Advent. For you, a new Advent in your life is, is something that you can rediscover and let it be. But you have to be willing to allow that rediscovery to enter into your life and to not go about living your life within the walls of your own making. I would invite you to prepare your life for the things of God.
to open yourself, your spiritual self, your heart to be awakened to the new things that God desires to show you. Open yourself and be reminded of the gospel lesson to keep awake, to pay attention, for no one knows the day or the hour of Christ's return. Keep awake. This natural gift of God's wonder gives us as children of God this empowerment of living a life that's alive and, and, and discovering those things that are so amazing. You know, your life is amazing. Your life is amazing. And if you could just rediscover those gifts that God has given to you, you will, you will be able to shine, shine, shine. Let the light of Christ shine. I want us, saints, to rediscover the amazing gift of God as we prepare to live into the glorious wonder of God. You can do it. We can do it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.